G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome to a little bit of an odd one. So I don't want to go into the details on this too much. Um, I'm doing a post commentary here at the start because I've just listened to the playback of my own voice from this recording and yeah. Alright, so I haven't uploaded videos in the last seven days. Uh, not exactly unusual for this channel but uh, I have had a few things going on that uh, are not great. I'll go so far as to say that I was actually in hospital over the weekend. Um, I'm, I'm not going to talk any more about that for the moment. I might come around to it in another video later. Anyways, um, a whole bunch of things have gone wrong. Um, both wider family and regarding myself and I recorded this right when I was in the middle of having those things go wrong so you're going to notice that I'm not going to be quite as sharp as I would normally be I'm going to make some mistakes the, the battles themselves I recover from you know spoiler alert but uh I make some mistakes that I shouldn't make, and I also am, I'm, I just, I'm not all there. I am also a little bit snappy in my commentary. Um, and I would normally go back and I would pull up my save files in order to be able to redo this, but I'm essentially playing this as Iron Man, so the second I complete a mission, I automatically overwrite all my saves, so there is no going back. Whatever happens, happens. Um, and... This is the only recording of this that I've got, so I just wanted to let everybody know that if I sound a little odd the whole way through this, this this is what is going on, and I might talk about it a little bit more later. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy. Somewhere along that vector, so we cannot hear whatever's shooting at us. Shoot two, one. Can I fire with one? How is it that we cannot see this thing even with active? We're just getting no return from this at all. What's the ambient noise? It's only... It's only 97. We should be able to get a clear return off this. It's like our active sonar just isn't working. And there's nothing to make it bounce. There. Left two, two, zero, six, helm I. Another torpedo out. It's fired three at this point from the transient. Sonar new contact bearing two, zero, five, designated Sierra two. Now we can. Well, we don't. We've got to designate Sierra two. But our signature is crap. Steady course. 95 solution, so we should get an auto update Con on the latest. Sonar, Sierra 2 Romeo. is classified as submerged sub... Alright. Make turns for 3, 0, 9. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Pushing 30 knots now. Con sonar, switching the passive search. We don't need the active, I just need the torpedo. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. There goes the wire. So now, come right to hard two, turn and nine, run. Zero helm I. Con, helm, steady course. St 
drop our depth a little bit here. It's not going to stop us from cavitating. There's not enough room for us to actually ca be able to run at flank here without uh, Passing cavitating. Passing 100 feet. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. The main thing here is just to make sure that we have enough water above us and below us that we can actually maneuver. Although I'm hoping, hopefully, we'll be far enough away that this uh, the Romeo's torpedoes won't catch us, because I'm pretty sure the Romeo, while it's likely firing the same torpedoes we've got, it's likely firing U-80s, I don't think it has wire control, even on the, the, the 2000s variant. So it can't guide its torpedoes once they're launched. Making turns for pretty widespread here and they're active yeah there's no way known I'm avoiding these so let's full reverse Main turns for zero con sonar no longer cavitating once we drop below 10 shoot con Moss sonar out. noise maker bearing one make turns for five knots maneuvering eye I have no idea where that one came from. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two, last bearing one. Hopefully nine, our nine. moss here. Contact faded. Torpedo seems to be tracking. That'll be ours. Hopefully it is curving slightly towards this, so hopefully it's still tracking the Romeo. Hopefully these will be enough to snag all of the actives we've got here and drag them all away. There's the fourth one. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, zero, zero. This noisemaker's thrown our torp again. Bloody Romeo causing so many troubles. It's a wasted moss. Alright, let's turn this in. Sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last uh, bearing. Romeo's two, gone. Zero. So don't have to worry Con about it anymore. Throw the rest of its on. torpedoes. Sierra two. Bearing two. Zero one. All right, good. We've got the last one. This final one we don't need to concern ourselves with. Cheeky little shit. That thing was difficult to try and detect. It's quiet diesels. They're annoying. Alright, and that seems to be working. This last one is a concern whether or not it's going to pick up the, the trawler. Although... Nah, if it picks up the trawler, it's fine. It's not our concern. In fact, I'd lead them all back to the trawler, except that uh, I'm a little more concerned with my distance from the trawler at this point. Come Turn. left to two, two, one, eight, helm, I. There is a lot of angry torpedoes there. So, Romeo is sunk, one torpedo spent on our behalf, and one moss. So, eh, it could have been worse. Would have been nice if we'd got more kills in there, though. Barely shows up. Right, so that'll be one of the Hufengs. 
which we're concerned we may have been somewhat protect, uh, detected by the Shane Du, which is that Con, one. sonar, new contact, bearing, three, four, seven, designated Sierra, seven. Should be another one. There. Con, sonar, master, three, is classified as escort. According to this, there should be one in between as well, but it doesn't appear to be rendered in. It seems to be searching, so we should probably down put the scroll. mask down. Alright, so, and there's the active pinks. Alright, so this is an interesting composition, because what we've got here, Yang Fangs, Dong K Radar, and anti-missile guns. Like, that's all they seem to be armed with, at least according to this list. They're almost not worth the torp, but, yeah, almost not worth the torpedo. Chengdu is a little bit better armed, so it's going to have to be primary target, but I wouldn't consider it to be a massive threat. Shoot 2 1, aye, sir. Shoot 2 2, aye, sir. Gone fire control, we've lost the wire. Forced another wire. Shoot 2 5, Russian torpedoes. Aye, Shoot 2 3, aye, sir. Alright, so four torps out. Four targets. Well, five torps out. One of them's going to be wasted. I. This doesn't look like it's actually going to be our group. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra five last bearing zero. But I'm going to have to deal with zero. it regardless. And these things. Are... <sighs> Heng Fangs. Yeah, 184 tons. Yeah, they're they're barely worth the torpedo. Actually, can we get a look at one of them? We got them fully ID'd. I mean, look at it. We're sending a U set 80 after that. Con, torpedo room, Hello. tube 4 ready. Unless those are missile launchers and they're not listed, in which case this might actually be the fleet if it is. I, I'm not familiar. It looks like a. just like a normal coastal patrol boat. I would have assumed these are torpedo launchers, but there's no torpedoes on them, or um, like uh, uh, rocket propelled depth chargers. Uh, I forget the exact designation, but they're not listed. So unless this is a uh, uh, sonar lost contact, master two last bearing, like a three, small one, one disposable faded. cruise missile boat. And those are cruise missile launchers. They don't look like there's enough room to rotate, so whatever they fire, they have to fire directly out the nose. I'm sure somebody in the comment section is going to fill me out on exactly what the hell these things are. I'll, I'll probably have a look once the video is done, but yeah, for the moment, I'm a little confused on exactly what this thing is supposed to be. The only thing that seems to be a major issue with this at the moment is... Um, with the anti-missile guns, I can't use, use the missiles just to donk them on the head and get rid of them. They seem more of an irritation than anything else. Anyways, one torpedo is active. I know that torpedo is going to cause me some issues. I should probably make sure all my torpedoes as they start going live go on target. The Chengdu is my, still my primary. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. I want this one to get up past the Chengdu. Now, Sierra 7, what are you? Actually, you know what? That seems to be exactly what Sierra 7 is. That seems Sierra to be a humpback. 7 is classified as biologic. And that we we know there's a Sierra 5. We have not... Uh, there's nowhere near enough signal there to actually ID Con sonar that. regained contact on Master 2, bearing 3, 0, 9... Might actually turn this one back through the group and not arm it, just in case I have to swing it back around to go this way. Alright, Chengdu is under track. M1 Yang Feng. Huang Feng. I'm not sure the pronunciation. Regardless, we've got one torpedo tracking towards it, and two is still hunting, but it will be hunting soon. 
Let's take a look and see how we go here. Hopefully one's enough to do the job. No countermeasures in the water, nothing to defend itself. Con sonar lost contact. Boom. Master. Alright, so that's our biggest Last threat. Bearing. This Three, fleet eliminated, four, at least as far as contact I can tell. Breaking up. It's gonna be a shallow tomb for that one. The torpedo What? How? So two, keep going this way for the moment. That just went straight under the hull somehow. Got a hit. That has to hit. Con sonar there lost contact. Go. Master one. Last bearing three, two, three. Right, so you contact can hit the speedboats. I was a little concerned there for a moment that maybe those things actually sit so shallow in the water that you wouldn't be able to get them, at least not reliably. Alright, so with our main threats down, I'm gonna pop radar. Raise the radar mast. Just to get IDs on where everything else is. Alright, so two, we need to adjust your course. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, master, six, is classified as escort. Alright. Uh, three, no, that is not what I have in mind. You are going north. You are going north, you are not going to do that. That radar back Lower down the radar before we get blown out of the water. All right, so Sierra Five is interesting because Sierra Five is. Do I run the risk? No, no, track that way. Till it breaks. I'm pretty sure Sierra Seven is a humpback, and I'm pretty Gun, sure Sierra Seven control, is still in there. Acquire. Alright, 2 has acquired. Cool, I don't need to adjust its course at all. Sierra 5 may be a submarine that's escorting Con, this group. computer room, tube 5 ready. Torpedo 1 runs north. 3 has acquired something and is continuing to head straight north. Alright. That's fine. I'm hoping Sierra 5 is another biologic. Um, alright. We've still got you on... Yeah, there is an active ping there. Actually, everything is set to snow. Surface run. That should solve the problem, I think. I didn't set the torpedoes to surface run, so they were tracking. Alright, so 3 is acquired M3. Two is still tracking M2. Got plenty of time on the torpedo, so that's fine. So now my main concern. I'm going to reload, even though anti-missile guns, we're going to reload a cruise, uh, an anti-ship missile into one of the tubes. My main concern is what this Sierra 5 is, because we got a look at it, couldn't get a good enough signal on it, and then it disappeared. If it's a biologic, it's not a threat, I'm not concerned. It could be a submarine. For how odd a, con uh, odd a configuration for a patrol this is, it could be a submarine. That's another one down. 
on sonar. Right, Sierra off. five is classified as biologic. Sierra, Sierra five looks like a biologic as well. All right, so final torpedo. I really don't think he's going to make it. Five minutes and well, just over five minutes before he runs out of time. Looks like we're going to get the kill over here. Here it comes. Con sonar lost contact. Master we go. two. Last bearing three zero six. Contact breaking up. All right, so that only leaves this last one. And I just don't think this is going to make it, and I do not want to chase this thing down. All right, as I was concerned, we have managed to finally acquire the target with only two seconds left. All right, that was what I was concerned about. Let's see what two, happens two, now. Five. Hi, sir. Can our anti-ship missile manage to defeat the anti-missile guns on this thing running away from us? almost wasteful firing this, but frankly it's better than the alternative. Con, dive at 3, 8 feet, dive by. Raise the radar mast. Whoa, okay. You just got the Con radar on our so you find it, but on master six bearing three, target five, located. zero. Lower the radar mast. Well, that's that for this patrol. Um, yeah. Let's go see how we did. Alright, so we've still got 10 USAT-80s remaining. We've got, uh, we've used one of our cruise missiles, so... Still feels like a waste, but we'll see what this is. Excellent job, Commander. Your neutralization of this high-priority target will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder trans-Pacific convoys. That was it. That was actually the patrol we were after, so I am surprised those little speedboats were actually what we were looking for. They must be some kind of... I'll have to read up on them. I'm, I'm not familiar with that particular shipping, but uh, looks like some kind of disposable or extremely inexpensive light missile-carrying patrol boat, essentially. Alright, well, that's the end of that one. Hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.